I don't understand people. They, they, they wake up and, and they decide to write bullshit. They just decide, hey, I'm going to write bullshit today. Oh, we got comments on this one? Ooh, well, I want to see what they're going to say at the end of this. Um, Goku versus Naruto. Who would win? Guess what? It's probably not who you think it is. With these videos and these debates, you have to come up with the, dance, the dumbest answer possible. And that will most likely be uh, the conclusion of this article. So let's uh let's get right into this uh this fucking bullshit I guess. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Eleven, Naruto, great growth. Okay. As a young child, Naruto was shown to be a poor student. He was the weakest ninja in his class and failed to learn even the most basic techniques. His inability to produce. So this is uh, Goku versus Naruto, right? And uh, they're saying this dude can't even. Now here's my main issue with this. This is inab his inability to produce clone ninja. So off the bat, I know that this person isn't even a Naruto fan and hasn't watched not one episode. Um, you said clone ninja? Who the fuck says that? Not even the English dub says. Who says clone ninja? What the fuck? I'm pretty sure it's Shadow Clone Jutsu. Holy shit. So now we already know that this person is incredible. I mean, if it wasn't obvious enough since it's CBR, but now like we have all the proof we need that this person is not credible and has no knowledge of anything he's fucking talking about. Um, let's see. Oh boy. His inability to produce clone ninja was especially bad. Naruto would improve his skills over the years. After a lot of studying and training, he would eventually be recognized as the greatest ninja in the village and even become the village's leader, the Hokage. He often shows his ability to grow during a fight, coming up with a strategy while he fights and adapting to the situation. You know who was really good? Now, by a San standards, uh, Goku was fucking trash at the beginning. Let's be real. He was, he, was low, he was low class garbage. But compared to us humans, this dude was a fucking prodigy. This dude saw Master Roshi do a Kamehameha without knowing what key even was, without even knowing how to use key, and guess what? He used the Kamehameha. So I'm pretty sure Goku uh, already had it better than Naruto from the start. So that's already one point for Goku. Next, Goku, brawn over brain. They're already talking shit on this man. Goku has never been the smartest character, and he is well documented to be a bad student, even in adulthood. Though he isn't incredibly intelligent, he has dedicated all of his studies to martial arts. While Goku grows in strength, he doesn't really improve in intellect. When he's pushed to his limits, he usually goes and trains a little more, so that he typically tries to become more powerful instead of dealing with strategy. You saying Goku doesn't know strategy? Listen, I'm not saying Goku's smart, but when it comes to fighting, he's pretty fucking smart. These people don't understand. These, these people think that Goku is just stupid 24-7. Look, Goku's not the smartest, but when it comes to martial arts, he's a fucking genius. So don't even come, don't even come with that bullshit. When he fought Jaren, those key grenades were fucking awesome. Who the, yo, who else did that? Who did that? Who in Dragon Ball did that? Come on. Godbind coming out with grappling with your or shut up, CBR. Shut the fuck up. Let's see, Konoha allies. One of Naruto's greatest assets and his. Is his allies. There are a lot of people who have Naruto's back. And if you already get it, uh, his friends. Naruto has friends. Oh, yeah, Naruto has friends. Yay. Zasuke redeems himself in the end and becomes his friend again. Woo-wee. Fuck. Goku, Dragon Team. Here we go with the slander. Goku also had a lot of allies who, ha who, who have his back. His best friend Krillin has, has trained and fought by his side since they were children. While their relationship started off a little rocky, they ultimately build up a strong friendship. People like Bulma, Tien, Piccolo, and Vegeta and all fight by Goku's side. While they each have their own strength, they don't seem to add anything to Goku's abilities as a fighter. You're fucking stupid. The group isn't as cohesive and tight knit. Fucking, I, I guess fusion doesn't exist, huh? I guess fusion doesn't exist, huh? I guess Spirit Bomb doesn't exist, huh? I guess I guess the Universe 7 Spirit Bomb doesn't exist, huh? I guess the Super Spirit Bomb used against Kid Buu doesn't exist, huh? I guess Vegito doesn't exist, huh? I guess Gogeta doesn't exist, you stupid fuck. Next. Number 7. I'm sorry if I'm being too harsh, but these people are just fucking dumb. Like, come on. They're brain dead. 
Naruto has a lot of jutsu that he can rely on in a fight. He usually relies on ninjutsu, but he also has incredible taijutsu abilities. From childhood to child to adulthood, he has greatly improved his skills as an adult. Oh shit, no. <laughs> He's greatly improved his skills as an adult. His abilities could overpower just about anyone who would stand against him. His massive chakra reserves also serve him well in battle. He can turn all that energy into a ninja to attack. His ability have helped him overcome all the challenges and have put been put against him. Naruto is actually pretty powerful. Him being uh, an Uzumaki, he has a huge reserve of chakra that's unnatural to any other shinobi in the Naruto world. The Uzumaki clan just has fucking astronomical amount of chakra. And if that wasn't enough, he has Kurama inside of his body. Um, and he they're friends now, so they are working together. And if that wasn't enough, he's a reincarnation of Ashura. So his Sage of Six path form is pretty busted too. All of that power combined, he's a little bit beyond planetary. Not bad in Naruto Uzumaki, but not good enough. Because Goku is multi-universal. Next, number six, combat. Oh, here, this is Goku's bread and fucking butter. Fuck Taijutsu. Goku typically relies on hand-to-hand -hand combat in a fight. He wouldn't be able to rely on Jutsu because he doesn't need to, though he does have the power of Kyo on his side. There you go. Goku also possesses the ability to fly, a power unseen in Naruto. Excuse me? <clears throat> Listen, I know this is to defend Dragon Ball, but no, I gotta call them on all their bullshit, so I'm gonna have to defend Naruto on this one. You said, you said flight, the power of flying is not on... Mm. <laughs> you guys are... I knew they didn't watch this shit. I knew they didn't watch Naruto. Dumb fuck. Pain. Obito. Ten tails. Sage of Six Paths. Madara. Naruto. Uzumaki. Kaguya. Otosuke. If I said her fucking name right. Um. Tonari. Momoshiki. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> God damn. I just named seven characters that can fly, and I'm pretty sure that's not even all of them. Stupid. Number five. Oh, I didn't even finish. I think I did. Who cares? You guys get it. Goku will beat Naruto's ass in a fight. Naruto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking Rasengan. Um, <laughs> the Rasengan is Naruto's signature attack. The Jutsu was developed by the fourth Hokage and took him three years to develop. He learned this attack from Master Jirai and Naruto trained a lot. To master the Rasengan, which Goku learned coming behind a heartbeat, which he only he only managed to perform the ability when combining it with his shadow clones. He he see he even needed a shadow clone just to focus the chakra into his palm. Naruto was a child when he managed to perform his first successful Rasengan. His mastery of the of this jutsu has grown over the years. Naruto even managed to put his own spin on the jutsu by creating a Rasen Shuriken. The Rasen <clears throat> the <structure of> this <clears throat> the Rasengan and Rasen Shuriken don't require hand signs, making them an asset in a fight. He needs he needs hand signs to make that fucking shadow clone though. Though so I mean he did not anymore. You know because Naruto's so cocky. He's, he's mad brawler. He doesn't need fucking yeah. He doesn't have some of the weaknesses he had younger. So it isn't fair to me to uh, get on him all over that. But come on, say come on me, I dare you. Come on. I can't compare. This Kamameha, it started off as something that Goku could only push a mere car with. Now look at him. Now look at what he's doing with it. Look at what other people are doing with it. Weaker characters have... As, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. There's no comparison. Goku learned the Kamameha from his creator, Master Roshi. The Kamameha is Goku's signature attack and is taught to all of Master Roshi students. The attack was the first energy attack shown in the Dragon Ball series. Master Roshi spent decades studying martial arts before he managed to create the Kamameha. After seeing Master Roshi perform the attack, Goku quickly mastered the attack by performing it on his first try. The downside of the Kamameha is that it does require time to charge the attack. But the fucking results, though! Do you know what happens? I want to say Goku's Kamameha is just on a, a level that's beyond comprehension right now um, to anyone on Naruto. Um, lights out. That's what's going to happen. If any, like, Come on. D don't even care. Don't even compare it to the rest of God. <sighs> it's too early for this bullshit. Next. Naruto Sage Mode. Oh, wow. He gets super strength. Nice. <laughs> 
That's pretty much all it does. It just gives them super strength. <laughs> sage mode is a special state that few shinobis are able to reach. The only way to achieve sage mode is by combining a person's chakra with the natural energy that exists in the world around them. The ability to achieve sage mode allows a person to access a lot of new abilities. To reach sage mode, a person has to possess a lot of chakra. Sage mode can be learned from either the toads of Mount Miyoboku or the snakes of Ryuki Cave. Uh, Ryuki or Ryuki, however the fuck you say it. Naruto has used sage mode several times in battle. Goku. So, wait, 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 hold on. Let me ask you a question. Um, why are you just using one transformation? Both of them have a lot of fucking... They have, both of them have an ass load of transformations. Why are you just using... Yo, Super Saiyan, come on. <laughs> the fact... If, if you said... Uh, if you said fucking... <laughs> um, chakra mode, then fine. But you can compare it to Super Saiyan, bro. Come on. Come on. What the fuck? Not even KCM, bro. Just straight up Sage Mode. What the fuck are you going to do against Super Saiyan? Super Saiyan is a, gen is a genetic ability passed down the Saiyan race. Yo, what is that picture in the background? Yo, what are y'all doing? <laughs> what the fuck are y'all doing? Yo. <laughs> what the fuck? You, you, you guys just couldn't put the great ape? The golden great ape from that episode on the, on the Freezer Saga when it showed um, when they were talking about the form. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Come on, man. I had to put fucking fan art. Oh, God. Super Saiyan is a genetic ability passed down the Saiyan race. The ability to access the power is considered rare and is defined by a transformation, noticeably by turning hair blonde and eyes blue. After a thousand years of no one achieving the powered up status, the ability became nothing more than a legend. Frieza decided to destroy the Saiyan's home planet, worried that the legend might be real. The ability was proved to be real when Goku achieved Super Saiyan status during his fight with Frieza. So, so far, all they showed us was, um, what each of them have. You know what I mean? They didn't compare them to each other. They, they didn't compare Naruto to Goku at all. They just showed what each of them have. Um, they didn't show how they could beat, beat each other with their abilities. They didn't give any evidence of anything. They just showed us what they had. So the writers are automatically a bad writer already. Um, I could write a better fucking article than this. Number one winner, Naruto. <laughs> you see what I mean? These people are so fucking dumb. These people are so dumb. Naruto has shown a better ability to strategize in a fight. He has allies that would pro that would provide serious backup in a fight. He can quickly raise an army in a second or release a series of Rasengan. Once he taps into Sage Mode, he would unlock even more abilities. Yo, did he even mention Sage of Six Paths? What the fuck is this? Goku has proven himself to be an incredibly great fighter, and he would he would definitely put up a difficult fight. Both characters hate to lose and would probably become fast friends. If, shut the fuck up with that friend bullshit. Her not proven himself to be better. So let me tell you what's gonna happen if, if Goku fights Naruto, alright? Alright? So um Goku's gonna start in his base form. Naruto's gonna start in his base form. Naruto's gonna pull up on Goku with the multi Shadow Clone Jutsu, and Goku's gonna dispatch of all of them. He's gonna beat all of the Shadow Clones' ass with pure martial arts badassery. He's just gonna fuck all of them up. All you're gonna see is white puffing smoke coming out of nowhere, all right? And Naruto's gonna be, uh, uh he, he's not gonna realize what's happening. So while Goku's fucking with them, Naruto's gonna make another Shadow Clone. No, 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 this is Hokage Naruto. He's gonna make a Rasengan in the palm because because I'm smart enough to use the right version. He's gonna make a Rasengan in his hand, right? And he's gonna run towards Goku. When he hits Goku, Goku's gonna hold his hand out and stop the Rasengan with his bare hand and the Rasengan is gonna pop like a fucking balloon. Naruto's not gonna believe it. Luckily, he had to believe it, get it? <laughs> so luckily, he had a, he had a um another Shadow Clone far away, right? Boom, for Naruto's in stage mode. Ying, you know, he got the toad eyes, it's, it's on. He punches Goku in the face. Boom, that tickles. Naruto's, he's at a loss for words. Double Rasengan. Boom, nothing. Nothing works. Goku's just standing there. Is that really all you got? Naruto backs up, says, Rasen Shuriken. Zing, right? Rasen Shuriken. Uh, Goku's gonna be like, this is just like Krillin's destructo disc. 
doesn't seem very powerful. Goku's going to stand there, and the blade of the other of the, of the Rasen, Shuriken, Shuriken is going to hit Goku in his neck, and it's going to shatter like fucking glass and wind, just blown away by this ne that by this man's muscular fucking brawlic ass neck. So Naruto's going to be at a loss. He's not going to know what to do. So he's going to ask he's going to ask his friend Kurama for help. KCM1 baby, zip zap zoom. He going all over the place. He really fast. He beating on Goku and Goku just standing there. He's like, whoa, you could go Super Saiyan? Me too. Bang, he's Super Saiyan 1. Naruto's scared. But what the fuck is his power? The shockwave is too much. Let me go on KCM2. He gets that little fancy jacket. Zhring, you know what time it is. He pulls up with Kurama, turns into Kurama, giant ass fucking avatar. Tell Beast Bomb. Bing! Blows it at Goku. Goku gets a key blast. Zink! Boom! Tell Beast Bomb is gone. Naruto's scared. He don't know what to do. Truth seeking balls are coming out of this man's asshole. He's going to the Sage of Six Pass form. His strongest form. Well, I mean, I don't know what that shit he has in the manga, but uh, let's not talk about that because that's nah, not going to make a difference. But yeah, strongest form. Sage of Six Pass. You know what it is. Can't beat me. Boom! He's flying around. Goku's like, oh, so you can't fly. Goku flies up. Punches this man in the face, breaks his fucking teeth. Oh shit, Naruto's brain is rattled. He doesn't know what's happening. So he decides to make a giant Kurama avatar. Uh, Sage of Six Paths bullshit, you know what it is. Ashura, all those arms. He throws the fucking Rasengan shit at Goku, alright? All of them, all of them at Goku. Goku shoots a simple Kamehameha. Mind you, Goku's still in Super Saiyan 1. Bang, that shit is gone. Naruto, everything Naruto's doing is not working. But they said Naruto has friends. All his friends come. Zasuke Uchiha comes, all right, with the Susano. All right, you got the majestic attire, Susano, pulling up to fucking Goku. And let me tell you what's gonna happen. Goku's gonna be there. Whoa, all this animal stuff you guys are doing is pretty cool. Want to see my animal? Dragon Fist. He's gonna use that Dragon Fist. He's gonna go through the Susano shell, go through Kurama. He's gonna wrap around it as if he was a fucking python and squeeze them both to death and leave them there to fucking explode in their own bloody glory. Bitch, who wrote this shit? What's your name? Fucking Amber Boutwell? Stop talking about Bouts because you all honestly don't know how to fucking power scale. Let me see. Three things about original anime, Cell and Moon Crystal. Oh my fuck. That's even... Shut the fuck up. Cell and Moon Crystal is more canon than the original anime. Let's see. Batman, 10 things that happened to Barbara Gordon between Shut the Fuck Up, Don't Care, 10 ways Naruto changed between Naruto, Don't Care, Sasuke, 10 strongest Jutsu. You seem to be well, well rounded in, uh, in fandom. But, um, since you fucked this up, I can't trust anything you say about comics or manga. Um, I can't. You say you're a writer and an artist and a dreamer? Pfft, you're not a good writer. I hope your art is better than your fucking writing because this shit is garbage. Um, so let me see the comments. There's comments on this. This is going to be interesting. In what way... <laughs> In what way could Naruto stand a chance to Goku? Goku was literally a moon buster as a child. He now rivals the power of gods. He's, he's at a universal power level. The most anyone in Naruto has done is cut moon in half. Gilbert Williams says true. How high are you guys? Goku has Ultra Instinct, which he, do which he doesn't need. I already told you, you know, he can stay in his base form. He only wants Super Saiyan 1 in my little uh, prediction of how it would go just to show off. But, uh, yeah, these people are on my side. These, these, these guys are on my side. They all know that, um, yeah, CBR is fucking stupid. People just need to stop clicking on it. They just need to stop clicking on it. Look at this. <laughs> Oh shit, this is funny. You guys know what it is. CBR is full of shit again. People are coming at them now. <laughs> As they should. This is the whole point of this video. To open people's fucking eyes. Um, and to debunk them. Because this is definitely a debunk video. Oh, I got another one coming. Guess what? <laughs> Vegeta versus fucking Sasuke. And I swear to God, if it's by you, Amber, if you did it again. It better not be fucking you, Amber. Amber, I'm giving you a chance to fucking live. To see the, the 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 light of the future, all right, Amber, you saved yourself. Cause I, I can't promise that your internet persona would have survived the onslaught of, of these Dragon Ball fanboys, these 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 anime fanboys, bro. Like, sh don't fuck with them, don't fuck with us, period, point fucking blank. But um, yeah, man, that's it. Um, this just fucking sucks that these people keep writing bullshit, and like. 
I feel like I'm not I'm not even being biased because I guys last video I told you how Superman would really just beat the shit out of fucking Goku, all right? So I'm not even being biased. I know Goku's limits, and yeah, I guess it's just this bullshit. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. And now Vegeta vs. Zasuke coming. And that Vegeta vs. Zasuke video is coming real soon. Get ready. Um, I might have some original content in the works too because, you know, this shit is getting a little tedious for me. I mean, you guys seem to be enjoying it, so that's good. But, uh, you know, I gotta get that original content out, you know? I think I'm making a, uh, a little Devil Man video. I haven't done one of those in a while. So, uh, stay tuned. Peace.